Well, it's not just happening in the front of the court for El Willini. Weight of stroke here on the forehand side. Bit of hold, and look at that. She's not hitting it 100 miles an hour. Well, it's first loose Rundown. shot into the front of the court. 4 10. Game ball. Could be trouble. Yeah, too many options for Awalili. Looking game really Walili. focused and smooth. Awalili leads one game to love. Not a huge amount that Tesney Evans is being uh, allowed to do here. Good effort here from Tesney Evans, just getting in the mix early stage of this second. Just asking a few uh, questions of Awalili. I mean, you know, you ask a few questions, but I mean, how are you meant to see that shot? Look at this. I mean, it literally could be a straight drive. Yeah. Right until the very last. Well, it's uh, fascinating. We've got the players quite close to us, warming up and really getting ready and looking sharp for the next match coming up. A lot at stake here with the extra points. And out. Can. 6-10. Tesney Evans salvaged ball. something. Still four game balls for El Walili. Being where we're situated, you get really good at the feel of the player's intensity, don't you? <laughs> you There's certainly do. You know. <laughs> Too good. Up. Too good. She really 11 has 6. Walked. Match to El Walili. Very best squash here. Two games to love. She's setting the bar very high for the rest of the ladies. 11 6. I mean, it's not easy to kick off a first match in a new tournament like this. And Renee Mawilili, in just 18 minutes, has been unstoppable. What an impressive performance Ladies by her. Ladies and gentlemen, Two please show your appreciation for Wales's Tesney Evans. Also, the, the thing that stands out for me with King is is the lines she hits. It's almost laser-like. It, it, go, it goes exactly where she needs it to go very quickly. Seven, six. Oh, that's a nice hold. Great shot from Sam. It's trademark, isn't it, from Nine Sam? Eight. And then they've got the contrasting position. Oh. Stroke to King. Yeah, I think it had to be a stroke. Serm went right across Player into her line. Serm on the stroke to you. Video referee oh, decision I think this is going to be another stroke. Field. Let's wait for the review, uh, review please. Post looked like the line was straight through Serm there. That's a stroke all day long. 14-12, game to King. Into king. the shot. I think it's uh, the right choice. It's just, you know, she, she didn't, you know, execute it properly, but it's the right choice, definitely. What's a nice shot from Sam? 6-5. Stroke to King. Well, we're getting a review, review but it's like a stroke, stroke as well. Oh. It's amazing how the weather changes when you're up high here in Cairo. Stroke to the king. Oh, what a shot. <laughs> that is a ridiculous shot from Sam. It's leapt all over this one. And out, 11-10, game ball. Uh, completely flat pan that. Oh, what a shot. La Panta has equalized here. 12, Taking 10, that game second game serve, in a tie break. Well, we are going to be here all night, folks. Another really good kill down the backhand side. Sandwich. Oh, 
Oh, what a shot. What a winning shot from King. Slam dunk from the tall New Zealander. Right box, right. Seven, six. Well, another match going the distance here. So going into the player has third game tiebreak. No one's stopping for Let's this time. Oh, she's found the nick at the back. 12 10. Team can't believe it. Serve, two Such games to an one. entertaining match between these two. 12 14, 12 well, these matches 10. These are brutal 12, here this evening. It'll be a late night in Cairo, but a very entertaining one. Another match going the full distance. Camille Serm winning 12-10 in the, in the third game, 18 minutes. I guess it's my turn to put you on the spot and ask you, who do you think is going to Whoa, win this I'm one? Gonna, you, that's naughty. Um, <laughs> I'm going to go for the Warrior Princess. I really do feel that Hand out she'll be up for eight, revenge. Home five. conditions here. Defending champ of this competition. Just I'm going to go. Oh, my predictions. I mean, I was saying too love to the Warrior mm. Princess. She's under trouble. She's under pressure again. Sarah Jane Perry looks very good in these conditions so far. And she did pretty well in Ghana as well, mm -hmm. so I think she managed quite well with the heat over there. Yeah, you're right. This is unbelievable. There's a head nod. So Sarah Jane Jenny. Perry serves so two game balls. <laughs> I retract. I retract what I said earlier. Oh, she's done really well there. So Sarah Jane Perry keeps the crowd quiet here in Cairo. It's the crickets again. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the crickets that are celebrating the first they're game. While they're still fasting and leave their, you know, like their squash games or maybe any gym work for after when they've eaten. But, you know, sometimes you just can't do it. Yeah, yeah. You've been you've been without water and food for 12 hours, and it's just so hard to get to muster up that energy to start. And down, three, one. She's got her. She's got her. That's unbelievable. Ten nine. Ball. What a quality back end of the second game for Perry. I mean, she. Oh my God, this is unbelievable movement here from Perry. It's extraordinary recovery work. Just stayed in, is it? <laughs> oh, she got it! That's outrageous! Oh, you can hear the crowd somewhere. There we go. That's unbelievable, Sama. You're speechless. Well, I caused an absolute boo boo, and I apologise. I felt that there would be revenge for the Warrior Princess after the British Open with a two love victory. It was a two love victory, but it went to uh, the Birmingham Brawler, Sarah Jane Perry, not remotely intimidated by a partisan crowd.